Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to get a couple achievements for the game, The Final Station. Now the main thing for this video is I'm going to show you where all the survivors are for the first act, and that's going to get you the achievement City of Factories. However, along the way I will also show you a good spot to grind out, push back, as well as Yes You Can. Now the City of Factories which achievement requires you to get six people and bring them all the way to the final station in the Act 1. There are five parts total for this, and there's going to be a couple people in each one. First one here is going to be this blonde chick, and she will actually be in the first part. Now once you talk to them, they will disappear saying they're going to the train. That's how you know that you've gotten them. You will also see them once you get to the next section, so that'll be fine too. Now this next guy is going to be in the sewer, and he's going to be um, pretty much when you're making your way back to the train. This is still in the first part. He'll have the gun, so make sure to talk to him, and he will join the train as well. So that's two people in the first part. Alright, second part's going to have one person as well. This is going to be the spot where I was going to tell you about grinding out uh, pushback. What you need to do is you need to end up um, killing so many enemies, I guess you could call them, with random things in the, around the ground. There are two of them right outside the shop with five people. So what I do is, since it saves your progress every single time that you die for this achievement, just go ahead and take the two, kill two zombies, or kill two enemies with them, and then restart the che uh, checkpoint, or die, or whatever. So that way you just get this achievement real quick. Now there is one person in here as well, and he's going to be on your way back from getting the key, so he'll actually be in the sewer along the way, so you'll see him if, as long as you're making your way back through the sewer. Now just a side note for this, you do need to make sure you watch out for him. Um, the biggest thing in between the parts, I guess you could say, is that when you're on the train, the people will have, the, they'll need health and food, and this guy in particular bleeds. And he will bleed for the whole time, so you just need to watch his health, and Give him a med pack when his health starts to get down to maybe the last quarter. Don't do what I did here where, oh no, he's bleeding, and I just go get him a med pack real quick, because it's just a waste of a med pack. So just kind of keep an eye on things. Until they get down to like the last third of life or food, they don't really need it, um, and it fills them up pretty good. So don't worry about just giving them there. It'll be kind of a waste. So like I said, don't do that what I did in the video. All right, next up is part three. This is gonna be a really great spot to get the achievement. Yes, you can. What you do is you climb the uh, little spot here. You'll see you need to in order to do it. As you can see right next to the 24 hour open, there's actually a bird. You can shoot it while it's just sitting there and it will stay there. So just make sure to aim the gun at it uh, when it's just sitting there. Otherwise you can make the shot like I did where it starts flying away. So just watch out for that. Now for this one, you need to actually bring a battery all the way back to the train station. Along the way back, you'll be going through some shops. As you see here, there's a little sewer, and there's going to be a guy underneath it. He's kind of sort of in the middle of the map overall, so it's kind of easy to miss, because if you don't see it when you do that, you'll, you won't get him at all, so just watch out for that. Now, part 4 has zero people, so I'm not going to cover anything with that. Just be careful going through it, and again, watch your train station in between everything. Part 5 has a couple of things with it. First off, you can actually get the home safe achievement for this one, and that's if you go through this entire uh, part without using a med pack. I have a video on that, so check the either the card up above or the playlist at the end if you wanted to see how to get that one. Next up, there are going to be two people in this area, and you will notice they're kind of hard to miss for the simple sake of you need to find this guy in order to leave the station. So once you find him, you'll see three people in there. One of them says flat out, no, I'm not going to make it, don't waste your time, and the other two will come with you. So. Make sure to grab those two. As you see, the one with the bandage does, again, bleed. So make sure you have plenty of med packs, because if you don't have any and you're going to the last section, these guys will die. And that's really about it. If any of your passengers die along the way in between parts, make sure to reload the save. Just kind of start all over again, because really this is all the game is going to be, is just rinse out of repeat, rinse out of repeat. You do have a little bit of a crafting section in your train where you can actually make stuff, so just kind of watch out for that. But really, as long as you're kind of paying attention to people when they need food or when they need uh, health or anything like that, you should be pretty good as long as you're not stupid like me and give them a med pack when they're like 10% done. So, And that's all there really is, so uh, hopefully the video helped. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. If you're looking for a specific achievement for this game, check the playlist at the end of it. I'll probably have it in there. If you enjoy other video game related content, that's kind of what I do, so consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezo, and until next time, keep your story going.